Suppose A, B, and C are non-zero numbers. Let matrix M be the given two by two matrix and matrix N be the given three by three matrix. We're asked to find the inverse of matrix M and the inverse of matrix N. To begin, because M is a two by two matrix, we can find the inverse using the formula shown below, where if the given two by two matrix has entries A, B, C, and D, the inverse of the two by two matrix is equal to one divided by the difference of A, D, and B, C times a matrix where we change the position of the entries A and D and change the sign of the entries B and C. So beginning with the given two by two matrix M, to find the inverse of matrix M, we have one divided by A, D minus B, C is the determinant of the original matrix, which in our case is equal to A, B, minus zero times zero, or just AB, and then times the matrix where we change the position of the entries A and B, which gives us a B in row one, column one, and an A in row two, column two, and then we change the sign of the entries in row one, column two, and row two, column one, but in this case, changing the sign of zero doesn't change the zero, and now let's perform the scalar multiplication. This gives us B divided by AB and zero for the first row and zero A divided by AB in the second row. Simplifying one last time, where B divided by B simplifies the one and so does A divided by A, M inverse is equal to the two by two matrix where the first row was one divided by A zero, and the second row is zero, one divided by B. And now let's compute the inverse of matrix N, which is a three by three matrix. To do this, we'll use an augmented matrix where we begin with a three by six augmented matrix where the first three columns are from matrix N, and then the second three columns are from the three by three identity matrix. Then we perform row operations so that we have the three by three identity matrix on the left, and whatever matrix is on the right is A inverse. So again, to set this up, we'll have a three by six augmented matrix, where again, the first three columns are from the given matrix N. So we have A, zero, zero in column one. We have zero, B, zero in column two, and zero, zero, C in column three. And then for columns four through six, we have the three by three identity matrix, and therefore the fourth column is one, zero, zero, the fifth column is zero, one, zero, and the sixth column is zero, zero, one. If it's helpful, we can sketch a vertical line separating the left and right side. And now we focus only on the first three columns and perform raw operations so that we have the three by three identity matrix on the left. And this one's pretty straightforward. If we want the first row to be one, zero, zero, we replace the first row with one over A times row one. If we want the second row to be zero, one, zero, we replace the second row with one over B times row two. And if we want the third row to be zero, zero, one, we replace the third row with one over C times row three. Performing these three row operations, the first row becomes one, zero, zero, one over A, zero, zero. The second row becomes zero, one, zero, zero, one over B, zero. And the third row becomes zero, zero, one, zero, zero, one over C. And now we're actually done. Notice how the augmented matrix is in the form where on the left we do have the three by three identity matrix. This indicates on the right, columns four through six give us an inverse. So in this case, an inverse is equal to the three by three matrix where the first row was one over A, zero, zero. The second row is zero, one over B, 
zero, and the third row is zero, zero, one over C. I hope you found this helpful.